The HST can be hugely impactful on real estate here in Canada and specifically Prince Edward Island. Do you know how? Well, it affects a number of things. HST, which stands for Harmonized Sales Tax, is a federal tax, which is actually a compilation or it joins together local provincial taxes, if they exist, and federal taxes, previously called GST, and still is in some provinces, goods and services tax. So in Prince Edward Island, HST is 15%, which in my opinion, is an absolutely huge number. It affects a number of things. If you're going to sell, HST is applied to the commission, or what I refer to as a marketing fee. So if your commission or marketing fee is 6% and the total commission is $10,000, you're paying an additional 15% in HST. In addition to that, your legal bills, and if there's any accounting bills, also have HST applicable. And in some cases, lawyers and accountants will charge a processing or computer or paper fee as well. I don't do that. So that's how it affects the seller. The buyer would have to pay HST typically on a brand new house, or what's happening recently is if you do have a house or a cottage or a condo and you're renting it out in Airbnb, Airbnb or VRBO, uh, cottage link, and you're doing it daily or monthly, HST can apply to the sale price unless you get a tax number, an HST number, you're a registrant, and then you get either an input tax credit back an ITC or it's just waived at conveyance. So keep this in mind when you're buying property. Uh, normal residential homes that are owned by non-commercial entities typically do not have HST, but when you go to sell, it does apply to the commission or marketing fee. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below and hit the little bell symbol beside it.